I get asked all the time about keto desserts and what's my favorite keto dessert. And Gary, can you show us some keto desserts? So I actually was making one today and figured I'd just share it with you guys. So again, go-tos are nuts for really, really healthy fats. This is another one of my go-tos. It's, it's a must-have in your kitchen. It's organic Thai coconut milk. Um, they make them um, in all kinds of different uh, companies make this, but make sure that it's organic Thai coconut milk. This is like cream. Look at this, look how thick this is. So this is actually like making a bisque. The colder it is, the better it tastes. So I put some organic Thai coconut milk in there and then I just hand crush pecans or walnuts or whatever your favorite kind of nut is. Again, remember, peanuts are not nuts, so let's not put peanuts in here. Um, I mix those up in this, um, in this cream, in this organic Thai coconut cream. I actually like to add a little bit of this nut butter. There's a nut butter that's made by Nutso. It's a keto seven nut butter, so it's all nuts. And I actually just chopped it up a little bit. Um, it's a little dried. So I put a little bit of nut butter in there. Um, and then uh, always berries, blueberries, blackberry, raspberry, strawberry. Those are your go-to fruits. So take a nice fistful of Blueberries, very low sugar, only about five grams of sugar in this whole entire thing, including the berries. And then for sweetness, if you really want it to be sweet, you can actually add just one pack of stevia. So you can sprinkle stevia over the top of that. Um, one pack of stevia makes it pretty sweet. But uh, now you've got fruit, you've got fats, you've got healthy proteins. Remember, these are your unsaturated fats. For the most part, it mixes up just like an ice cream. I'm telling you, this tastes like a bowl of Ben and Jerry's. It's crunchy, it's a little salty, it's sweet, it's creamy, and it's cold. It's absolutely satisfying. So I'll tell you why this is one of my favorites, because you know, after you've done a, a heavy meal, let's say you had steak um, or, or something else that had a high amount of fat in it. Now, at the end of the meal, you have a slice of cheesecake or you have some ice cream. So basically what you're doing is you're piling in high glycemic carbohydrates carbohydrates that raise your insulin level very fast. Nothing will kill your energy faster than a spike in insulin. Remember, the amount of blood in our system is fixed. So it can't be here and here at the same time. This is a 30 foot long tube. Depending on what I put into that tube depends on how much vital oxygen and blood my body sends to my gut. So if you wanna keep oxygen and blood in your brain and not in your belly, you have to keep the glycemic profile low, which means the amount of speed at which it raises your blood sugar. So when I use high fat, high protein, low carbohydrate, low glycemic foods like this, with a little bit of stevia or just um, uh, a little fistful of fresh berries to actually satisfy my sweet tooth. It's cold, it's satisfying, it's sweet, it's delicious, doesn't spike my insulin. It will not rob you of your energy and our energy is more important than what we taste. So that's just science.